Hey there, welcome again. In this video, we will have a glance on the order of operations with respect to network address translation when it comes to a Cisco router. Going through the checklist, we will first understand how to define the inside and outside interfaces on a Cisco router. Secondly, we will have a look at the order of operations of NAT in iOS or iOS XE devices. In the previous lecture, we thoroughly understood the terms inside and outside when it comes to NAT. Just to repeat that, inside is where your organization's devices physically exist, while outside is where the devices outside of your organization physically exist. Now as with any device, a Cisco router cannot know that by itself. We have to define it and it is defined by the interface level command of IP NAT inside for the inside zone and IP NAT outside for the outside zone. Once they are defined, we can go ahead with configuring our NAT type. For example, static NAT, dynamic NAT, or NAT overload or PAT which you will see in action in the next video. When troubleshooting NAT, this concept will 90% of the time save your day. For this series, we will keep it really simple. Heading towards Cisco's documentation on the order of operations for NAT with respect to iOS or iOS devices, you will see there are a lot of things taken into consideration. But we will focus on the utmost important one for this series, and that is routing. Routing basically decides the outgoing interface for the IP packet. When the initial packet lands on a NAT inside interface, routing occurs first, which decides the outgoing interface. After deciding the outgoing NAT outside interface, the NAT statement is triggered corresponding to those interfaces. Now when the packet is coming from an outside NAT interface, NAT occurs first and then routing is performed. Now I don't want you to focus too much on this right now because this will be discussed in detail in the future series. But you need to understand the importance of routing when it comes to NAT. That means the NLRI or Network Layer Reachability Information must be complete with the perspective of the NAT boundary router for NAT to trigger and function properly. Now if you have liked the content of this video, you can also head over to our website doctornetworks.net to avail the full version of our free Cisco Routers NAT Beginner Series for a focused and systematic learning experience to better understand NAT on Cisco Routers. At Dr. Networks, we have quizzes for you after each conceptual lecture for your self-assessment and there are lab assignments after each hands-on lab we perform, keeping you engaged and laser focused throughout the course. The course link is in the description of this video if you decide to visit our website. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and to get notified on each new video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.